Last mission, last mission. Final boss mode. What it do, what it do. Yeah, yeah, yo, welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where as always, a shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pasco in the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do is LB, a lot of their balls, a.k.a. Shut the word to God, the GOAT artist. So I was creator of RingGangRadio.com in the building. Yes, sir, Ring in the go. house forever and always, you know, and as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey yo, hey yo, what up, what up? You already know who this is. Your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing. Ask about me, fuck with me. Ring Gang Radio all day, let's get it. Hey, King P, Bodega P, straight from the sewer tonight. Yes, sir. You know, as always, keeping our city safe from all types of mutated creatures and, you know, and niggas in pajamas, you know, committing crimes and all that shit, man. You know, and as always, we salute you for your service. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm keep the city alive. We're not gonna die over here. Fuck dying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bars. Bars. Yes, and last but certainly not least, man, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, yo. You already. I was gonna get done froze. South side. <laughs> Bye. Then we just started quality then the robot talking. Yeah, it, it was just some straight robot talk, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> it's, your, it's your boy, bro. Shot Towns on Southside, nigga, top five. Last of a dive. All right, let's go. Bring it. There we go, man. We, we got that, you know, Chicago wind in the house. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, man, we're getting into this. You know, first off, we're, you know, we're going to do our retro review, where in case if you haven't listened to our first one, you know, in case, you know, we got the youngest member in the clique, you know, and he dropped some thoughts on albums that we come up with, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the first from one was yesteryear. from yesteryear, yes. You know, I'm trying not to make myself you know, make myself sound old, LB, you know what I'm saying? Because it's already bad enough, it's already bad enough in the club is considered old school now, man. I, I'm t- I'm trying not to develop a complex here, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, you know, it was uh, you know, that was an interesting conversation, you know, and, I, and you know, it was a good conversation too, you know, because like I said, it's, you know, being able to get, you know, get, you know, fresh thoughts from a younger generation on shit that you know me and LB came came up with, and then P was already hip to it. Uh, so this week's uh, album is Ice from Ice Cube. War and Peace Volume One, The War Disc. Ooh. <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> now, obviously, Rome, you're the man of the hour, man. So please, I mean, you've listened to this. Tell us what you thought of this album. Okay. What I thought of this shit, 10 out of 10, fire, head to toe. This mm. shit, that, that shit you just ride to. Bang your head nonstop. Every bar total, every song total, every beat total, every concept, every scheme, every angle. I, I think I think it's not a skip on this album, honestly. Like I thought it was a perfect album. Like and I when I was growing up, Ice Cube was my favorite artist and I didn't even know about this. So that just goes to show you this nigga was been killing shit. <laughs> so this shit crazy. I fuck with it. I don't know what y'all think. Uh, uh. Wow. Well, that, 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 I mean, yeah, it, it's interesting, but I just have to, it's, it's, it's context. I'm just thinking to myself, it's context. You know, like I said, someone like this, because in terms of contemporary albums from Ice Cube, the, the production is more contemporary than, you know, if you listen to his other, his older albums. That's for damn sure. And, and it has, a, and, and of course, you know, when this album came out, the West Coast was kind of losing its identity because it was kind of losing its footing in the hip hop game, you know, after Tupac died, you know. And so Ice Cube pretty much went all New Orleans on this, you know. I mean, there's some EA skiing. New Orleans? What the fuck, though? No, this is a hard West Coast album. Like, 
What new nigga, this, this shit was not nigga. No, no, no. I mean, no. I mean, I'll always be biased. I, I always love the production from America's Most Wanted the most, but this was cool. I mean, but do, you, I mean, but do you hear a New Orleans influence? Like, yeah, on this like, no, no, no. I, I honestly, I honestly didn't hear that much West Coast influence. It didn't sound like the West, that West Coast. It sounded more like mainstream, like applies to every type of location yeah, type of album. yeah and, and, I, and that's what i'm saying because it sounds more contemporary because it's the beats are a little bit more than you know ice cream before used to rhyme over some really stripped down type of beats in a way yeah but it, it was hard beats though and they were like, yeah they were there was no question you know, about i feel it. like you know the west coast influence is probably like closer to the end of the album yeah you know like the beginning because the first couple of songs are so they're, I mean, beat wise, they're a little bit all over the place, you know, especially the. What the guy. fuck? Ask about it me. Was more, on, it was more strange. Well, honestly, maybe, maybe it's just me, and I was just thinking about this was a random thought while I was the album with the beat. I was like, I feel like these beats would have been perfect for like Scarface. I don't know why. They just. It's hmm. just I can see Scarface on some of these beats. Yeah, because Scarface Untouchable sounds almost similar in the production wise. That's why I kept on saying, like, you know, yeah, these beats are still dark though. Like, Scarface is like, the storytelling is amazing on this shit, man. My favorite song on this, um, Once Once Upon a Time in a Project. So crazy, dope. crazy, crazy. This nigga has so many great songs, like. Like these songs are so great, but you you wouldn't list none of these songs in his top five, would you? I think Ghetto Vet could be top five or top like, ten. That I, 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 I tell you for that's classic. That I will agree Ghetto with. Vet, you know. Yeah, that song's amazing. Ghetto Vet, I love the song Greed. Doctor Franklin <laughs> song, the intro. Nigga, hey, this song. I mean, this is how crazy, yo. The intro hard. I like um extradition um. Where he's like, um, had a role, no, no federal, don't like no yeah, black yeah, yeah. head sexual. Like, I think it's how that riff of that shit is, you know, telling the whole story. Like, like oh man, um, ask about me, dope. Like, that started the album off hard. Uh, uh, ask about me, fuck dying, pushing weight. Yeah, yeah, Those I fuck f- with them. There was some songs I really didn't fuck with, though. Like, I didn't fuck with that corn shit. Oh my god, that that yeah, that's fuck dying. Yeah. That's fuck dying. That's fuck dying. No, oh, like, fuck, fuck, fuck dying. But I like fuck dying, but like I hate the corn shit. Like I hate like fuck, like the cool corn track. Hold on, we can't hear you, bro. We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Mm, Can you hear me? Better. Okay, better now. Yeah. I said like corn dragged it down. Like fuck dying was dope, except for like the corn aspects of like oh uh, like. Lyrics were dope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, pretty much. I mean, my thing is like, I, I mean, when this came out, I didn't like this album. I really didn't. I thought there was just something about it. I just, I couldn't get into. There was a, I, I just thought well, that yeah, I feel. Like, for the intro, it's, it's great. Like, what can you get into, nigga? Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. that's what I've been wondering this whole time. That that's why I picked this album because it's like, what can we you not get into? We've talked about this before. Like, I I couldn't stand this album when it came out. I thought it was like, what the fuck is this? Like, there were some songs on there, but I thought that she just mailed it in, you know. And this is and this is it what? depends on what I mean. Like I said, this what? is not my. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I mean, there was some real. Man, man, I, you gotta start naming songs, songs man. Man. Nah, I mean, name nah, songs. Was, I, mean, I can understand. I can understand why Pat didn't like this. But I think there's a lot of dope shit on there to that. Well, that well, num- yeah, number one, I think, I yo, could, there's more dope I, shit than there is um trash. I mean, the trash song is like the limos, demos, and bimbos. Yeah, I was, I was, li- I was literally yeah, just going to say that. Yeah, I was literally just going to say. I can't order. That sounds like, crazy. I love that song. Well, like, first of all, I could, I couldn't stand the Don Mega shit at all. Period. I always think that the era of Ice Cube is whack. The no, Don- I didn't like the Don Mega shit. I don't like that either. Yeah, like, like, yeah. No, I mean, no. Yeah, fuck, I mean, the, fuck the name. Dude. The bars are the same. Who but cares? It was, a, it, was, it was a dope story, though. It's a dope yeah, story. I mean, let's see. Let's see. There was Castro Ass I didn't like. If I was fucking you, I didn't like. 
Ah. Definitely didn't like uh, limos, demos, and bimbos. I didn't like fuck dying. I thought pushing weight was right because I thought Mr. No, Short like, I, I go back, I go back and forth on fuck dying only because I hate the corn shit, but the lyrics are so dope. But I didn't like if I was fucking you. That I didn't like. What? Because <laughs> Mr. Short Cop was whack. Yo, yo, LB, it's not, and it's not even with Ice Cube on that shit. It's literally the other niggas like fucking helped, like brought the song down. Yeah, Mr. Short Cop was see. whack. <laughs> like whack, whack. Like. I think it was whack, like, like there was a high, like, I mean, to me, I just fucked with the song. Like, I, I'll give y'all limos, bimbos, and demos. Like, I'll give y'all that. I never so to me personally, I, I never was a big fan of uh, Once Upon a Time in the Project because I am. Yeah, really and like I, and I love like that. that. Yeah, I felt it, like, it, the original was better, but I felt like after yeah. that, it kind of went like it kind of went downhill for me. Like not really downhill, but like some of the songs after that was just like, eh. To now, me, those like the best songs. Uh, after, like, that, after that, it started riding hard. That's dumb. Like, okay, this nigga heard, heard the same album. Was, I don't know. I just, I, I just agree. Um, like, I disagree. Like, hey, so the 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 beginning, and then afterwards they get to the oh shit, we in the West, nigga, we riding out on these niggas type shit. You feel me? I like, I like, I mean, I like to reach like you in, but some of the other ones like, mm, mm. you didn't fuck with extradition. What? We gotta kick rocks before this. Yep, yep. Shit. It's so hard to get in the room without a credit card. It's so hard to let them, to let them not know who you are. Uh, expedition? Is it expedition? No expedition. expedition. Like, expedition. Sorry, I can't. Expediting. Uh, oh, extradition. Sorry. Number sixteen. Yeah, expedite. I'm sorry. No, that one was cool. So hold on. Okay. Exodite and three strikes you so you ain't fuck with penitentiaries. That beat smooth as fuck. Who's right? Oh wow, like y'all niggas. <laughs> and I didn't like I didn't like that X bitches. Yeah. Now, three, three strikes you win, Y'all heard that one? Y'all fucking that one? Now I'll, I'll say something about X bitches. That one was my guilty pleasure only because it reminded me of the West Connect West Side Connection song Westward Ho in the same way and, and I actually remember how much I like that damn song. Yeah. Yeah. I I, yeah, I didn't that like that that, that at all. Like yeah. I didn't like that at all. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah. Nah. You, you ain't like none of the damn West those like hard tracks. And one of my favorite songs is I fucked with the pecking like, order. Green, the way he came, the way he came, I love it, 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 yeah, he's, he snapped on Green, like, I remember that was on some type of movie soundtrack as well, but I can't remember the movie, so when I heard it on the album, I was like, oh, Green was dope, Green was, Green was dope, Green was definitely dope, you fuck with Peck on Order? That Mac yeah, 10 that part at the that end. Again? The, pecking order? The, the pecking order? The pecking order. The pecking order was cool. That, that, that shit Mac 10 scene at the end, man. It's, it's, no, I'm saying, I'm saying after Once Upon a Time in the Projects, like, after that, it's just like, if I was fucking you, it was like, ugh, like, that was like, that drug it all the way down for me. Damn. <laughs> And X bitches, like if I was fucking you and X bitches back to back, literally like that was really what kind of like uh like nah. Yeah, cause he threw like the two chick songs back to back, like fuck it. Yeah. Then so he said, really- you know what? I'm gonna throw some like like three hard songs to close this bitch out though. I mean, honestly, for me, like this album just—I mean, it, it, to me, it, it felt like a filler. I'm like, there's a whole bunch of filler in this shit. And I mean, yeah, it, there, it, there is filler. There is quite a bit of filler. Like, it's yeah, like y'all, if you, y'all think this filler like scale is like hard, bro? Like, no, niggas, because this is Ice Cube, nigga. That's the reason why I told you. Like, let's say, what do you? this ice cube like are we, are, hold on are we being on some bias um hold on he didn't fight mexican style type shit are we just judging no, no, no. I, mean, I mean i'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie i do hold ice cube to a high standards 
But even like, even this was cool. Like, I'm not even. This was cool. It, 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 it's it, harder than a lot of damn Jay Z and Nas albums. Niggas be big enough. Yeah, that's also uh, subject to you know opinion either. It's, it's better than that damn Clips album we had to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I I I'll tell you that. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You <laughs> should kill the Clips album. You said that. No, this is cool, but you you definitely tried to stay. Hold on, Now when I hear some of the clip songs, that shit's too fucking poppy for me. I can't hear that shit all the time. You gotta be like driving to the beach to hear that shit. But this shit got hella replay value for me. Thank you. With the clip shit, you gotta hear maybe one of those tracks. Yeah, yeah I'll like, play this. I'll, I'll play here like two or three. Yeah. Right, let me go to Dr. Frankenstein. Oh, let me play. Let me play extradition real quick. Oh, let me play three strikes land. Let me play, yeah. let me play green. Yeah, real talk. Like I think the, what what sold the album for me was first of all it was hard. The production was hard, but he had so many different types of content concepts, and he was spitting on this like like niggas ain't mentioned Dr. Frankenstein. That's just yeah, Dr. Frankenstein was dope. Dr. Frankenstein was dope. That's one of my favorite songs. Nah. Oh, this nigga. Like, like Pat just don't good. fuck with this album. Like, he, he don't I really have know, a solid, still, concrete you know, reason. Like, this, this it, it, it was meant, it was filler. I, I, I hated this album. Like, it, it was like. Bro, look, look. It was a I'll whole say this, like, nothing. You have more dope songs than you have wax songs on I mean, this. I, I, I will say that this. That the war album, like sorry, that this was the war album was basically fucking lethal injection compared to the peace album. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the peace yeah, is peace trash. I don't, trash. Even, I, don't, I don't even want to hear any arguments of that that, that shit being good. <laughs> There's no arguments. That's just this is like maybe five songs and that's it. <laughs> you know, but it it just, it just sounded like Ice Ice, uh, Ice Cube just was like looking for some sort of identity and he didn't really have it. <laughs> Cause you don't like diversity in songs. This nigga get Ghetto Vet, Dr. Frankenstein. Like, I like Ghetto Vet. Ghetto Vet was dope. Ghetto Vet was probably like one of the few reminders of what Ice Cube actually was. You know, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a whole bunch of just filler in there that just it didn't work. Like I, this, that, in, diversity, like, 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 like 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 cash over ass. Eh. I could have done without okay, that. You could get cash out your ass as filler, but it's not a wax song. Like, it's just straight. Like, nigga, it's cool as filler, bro. What Ice Cube album you fuck with, though? Oh, what Ice Cube album do I fuck with? America's Most Wanted, by far. That's like a classic. Yeah, this nigga picked a classic album. Like, everybody fuck with it. America's Most Wanted and Lethal Injection. I'm classic. I'm talking about the other. God, I thought you were just talking about Ice Cube. Yeah, I'm talking about Ice Cube. Yeah, like literally, this like war. war like his first three first albums first are album. like ten out of ten. Yeah, like the war. This was the first Ice Cube album that I didn't like. Like literally, did not like at I all. I thought it was whack. Because it still had that West Coast, uh, West Side connection energy. Like it still had a little bit of that shit, and it's like I fucked with it. Yeah, like all all of his albums before, like fucking America's Most Wanted, ten out of ten. Fucking Death Certificate, ten out of ten. Yeah, hey, you felt the predator like that too. The predator, the predator. The predator. I, I wouldn't give that a ten out of ten, but that's still a fucking that's like up there. The predator had his biggest hits, pretty much. <laughs> it. Yeah, nah, but some niggas don't put that in like they don't hold it in the high regard as his first uh, first one. Yeah, because the first two are like well, well no, to me, because to me the first one is his magnum opus. That's his like, to me, that's his undeniably best to me. But that's just me. Yeah, that's his, like, uh, how some niggas would say, that's his Illmatic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, although I... That's I the thing, is like, Ice Cube, the only dude who got a classic solo album and classic group albums. What? Wait. If you, <laughs> did you just say he's the only one that has a classic solo and classic I'm, group? Group album? I mean, the only person I could think of is probably like what nigga. Ghostface. Nick, yeah, I was just gonna say, nigga, did, did we forget Ghostface exists? Like, <laughs> yeah, but some people don't call his shit un- undeniable classic, like they call it Cube. And then you gotta remember, Cube got two classic group albums, man. 
Which is a rarity, which is an actual rarity. Westside Connection and NWA, my nigga. Yeah, that, that, that I mean, yeah, not too many people have two separate you know, group. I don't like. And you could say he got two classic solos. So, nigga, that's four classics right there. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, like I said, I just saw this, the first four were all classic to me. Like I said, War was just not. And some, and some niggas is giving him more than more than that. So it's like, come on, like he, he got a four classic minimum. Yeah, I mean, Ice Cube had Ice Cube had probably one of the mo- had one of the greatest runs in the '90s. Like, there's no, it's not question about that. But like I said, but when he started falling off, he he, it, it was a slow. Yeah, the, the, no, the fall the, when he fell off, he fell off. Yeah, I don't, I don't honestly I don't see the fall off y'all niggas is seeing this this album go fucking hard no after no no the fall off was really after this like like this this was kind of like this this was to me this was his this was his I don't want to say Roy Jones Tarver one moment but like <laughs> close to that like he that wow <laughs> This Damn, is- I don't know, man. Y'all niggas. Actually, I'll give this. I'll give this. I'll give this. Gonna fucking show. I'll give this his Ruiz moment, and then after that, like fucking the, the Peace album was his Tarver two moment. Yeah, yeah, P- yeah. Peace. It's was- funny, y'all, because the thing is, just like the Peace album had like all the like like people like the singles more. Yeah, yeah but- the song he had with Bone, well, Crazy Bone, was dope. Yeah, then the, the one singles, he had with then, the, uh, but, then, but then, then when you listen to his fucking album, it's terrible. Like, yeah, the album was terrible. I didn't fuck with the album. That's one of the first times I went to Best Buy and I, I left disappointed. Like, I was like, damn, I got this fucking album. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I think I was with War, I was happy though. Like, man, I used to play that tape out. Like, so even my pops like that shit. Like, we get in the car to go to the stories. Like. You got the Cube album, my nigga. So I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I got it. So fuck all that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess it's just different talking. Like, like I say, it just, it just felt like a whole bunch of mid to me. It was just filler, just nothing. You know, just filled with some, with some songs. And there's some songs that could have been cut. Because literally, some songs are like the almost a damn. Almost I can mute. agree. I can agree with Pat on the filler part. Ah, like y'all niggas making it seem like it's half and half. Like it ain't no fucking half and half. Like no, nah, no. Nah, take three dope, songs off. It's more, dope, it's more dope shit than air shit, but there's air shit. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I could accept that. I, I could fuck with that. Pat still don't really like you know that nigga opinion. But but I want to hear Pat score first so I can laugh and get that over with. I mean. <laughs> I mean, what's the? What, I mean, what's what's that? I mean, I didn't like this album. I mean, I thought I, I thought Ice Cube was like, you know, fucking kidding me with this, you know. So I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I mean, I'll, pretty much, I'll give it a five. I mean, no higher than that. Wow. No, that's that's too low. That's too low. That's an it's an average. Thank album. you, thank you. Nah, fuck all that. It's an average. It's an average album to me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel classic. I didn't even like the singles off this shit. Nah, nah. I, I give it, I give it higher than a damn five. It was definitely above I, average. I, I, I really did not. Man, like, honestly, I don't see how anybody could get this less than a seven. Honest to God. That's exactly what I'm giving it. A I can name a whole bunch of albums from 98 that I fuck with more than this <laughs> this bullshit. <laughs> but 98 was a hard year, though. Exactly. Ice Cube, you know, was kind of, was kind of nah, you know, a little bit washed Because up, he didn't right? have the big singles like that. Like, I felt like Dr. Frankenstein and maybe something else could have been the single. Like, pushing rhymes like, wait, I, I liked it, but the issue was like half and half. Some people loved it. Some people was like, eh. And then the fuck dying was that another was one that was like pushing weight like was a single. Hmm. Pushing the weight was a single. Yeah. Yeah. That was the oh, first one. Trash. That was trash. You said it was trash. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on, but what you give it? You still give it a ten, or you done? You done second guessed it, or what's up? I mean, it's honestly a nine because I had, there was like maybe one, two songs I didn't like. But there was no skips. I didn't skip them. I still listen to them because there's lyrical content within each verse. So it's like you can't skip the verses because the verses are too dope. So it wasn't a skip, but yeah. a couple songs I didn't like. Yeah, nine was my score, so I, I, I fucked with that. Yeah. 
like it's just like it's just below classic to me like or, or not classic at least masterpiece like it well, just it has too many hard songs yeah um, the best production on the ice cream album that i heard other than the no. new album Nah, the production on this nah, was fire to me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That was not. consistent as fuck. Nah. These beats were crazy. Honestly. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, all I know is in terms of West Coast shit that dropped that year, I fuck with Corrupts and Exhibit shit a hell of a lot more than this album. Hold on, which Corrupt album we talking about? Corruption, my nigga. Fuck out of here. Nobody nah, nigga, fuck out of here. Nigga, I love Corruption. Nah. Yeah, that Nobody. was that was that was okay. That was mid, nigga. That was mid all nah, day. Nigga. I fuck with that album. And you would have said Streets is a mother, I would have been like, yeah, Streets is a motherfucking classic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the album too, but Corruption, I fuck with a lot more than fucking than this ice cream. Nah. Album. Nigga, for his Corruption was corruption, slept corruption, on more than this. You know, the funny part is, you know, the funny part is, for as good as Corrupt is, nigga, I, I ten, nine times out of ten, I'd rather listen to Daz. Like, <laughs> Yo, I can see making the harder, like the better albums to me. Like, I agree with that. Like, yeah, that that's for, that's be saying some bullshit, but some somehow he makes that shit work sometimes. More more often than not, than corrupt. corrupt. Like, the only the only corrupt album I really fuck with is Streets as a Mother, but Daz, like for the most part, I fucked with a lot of his albums. But you know, until he fell off, but he at least made three, four dope albums. With Corrupt, I feel like made a whole bunch of mid, but one classic. I mean, no, after Streets is a Mother, I mean, I, I barely, I, I, I was, I was done Corrupt because Corrupt was starting to really spit into some real nonsense after that. You know, he feel like he forgot how to spit. <laughs> hey, yo, P fell off. Oh, he, he still fell off, bro. Huh? He still fell off. I, I, I'm, I, I've been watching. Oh. You know, you but, watching that Ice Cube Bible, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I just could, I, I never got to it because it, it was because I was, I was disappointed when I was, I was when I heard it and it just wasn't oh, no, what bro. I was looking for, man. It, was, it just wasn't. Yeah, but, but your your critique is like, like I don't know, your hip hop eye, your hip hop ear is kind of off, though. No, nah, no. Nah, giving nigga. it a five, think about it. You giving it a five, two niggas is giving it a nine, and somebody gives it a seven. Because you're I like that one, you're, you're the Adelaide bird, nigga. Nah, nigga, that shit is average, nigga. It's as nigga. Nah. You that no, one, no one is calling this shit classic. No one has ever, no, I've bro, never heard anyone call the you one, that album one classic. judge that scored it 119, 109 or some shit. Nigga, that shit is five. And that, that's look, to say that it was, to say that it was more than average would be, I'd be lying to myself and it wasn't. I just, I, I don't, I don't agree with that. I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't disagree with that hard. It's definitely above average album. Like, there's nothing average about that album. Mm-mm. I mean, he re- he redeemed himself with "Laugh Now, Cry Later." I mean, that shit. You know, that shit was like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know what? I fucks with that album, but I like War. I listen to War way more than that album. I mean, "Laugh Now, Cry Later" didn't. I mean, didn't leave like my CD player for a minute. That's how much. I, 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 no, I, no, I actually like. I actually like this more than "Laugh Now, Cry Later." Thank you. Oh my. God. Ah, okay, King P know what he talking about. I, I fuck. I think I, I think no. I, I can understand why, um, why Pat says that because laugh now, cry later was such an upgrade from the bullshit he was putting out previously that we kind of elevated simply because it was his damn comeback. But yeah, no, I, I definitely like this more than laugh now, cry later. You know, it's like War had more consistency. Like you had like some of best, like some of Cube's best spitting on this shit, like. Like the weak songs, yeah, you had you had filler, you know that you know it's not every he didn't knock every song out the park. Like me, I would take off limos, limos, demos. I didn't really like Once Upon a Time in the Project, and maybe. And I love that. I, I I just feel like most of his like girl shit, like like I was like, eh, I don't know, I wasn't feeling none of that shit. But but me personally, like I ride the whole, I play the whole song, I play the whole shit through, like. Like I never really was on some all oh, skip it, skip it. Nah, well so fast I, I forward because I had any, the tape. Now nah, I didn't skip any of this shit. I don't. I don't. When I'm reviewing something, I'm not gonna skip it. Some of those I, I won't play again, but I played them all the way through. I'll, I will say that. Yeah, like the replay, fa- f- the replay value for the uh, the dope songs are real big though. Yeah. Because I know Dr. Frankenstein, Ghetto Vet, like. Pecking order, yeah, them shits got burned, but 
Yeah, so uh, Pat, the only one who don't know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, nigga. I, I, honestly, I'd rather listen to the Cliff album more than listen to this. Oh game. wow, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, dope. I would argue with that. Star Trek beats. Dope. Yeah. I'd rather listen to the fucking you know Pusha T you know rapping about how many how many ways you can how you can flip coke and all that shit for like twelve tracks than this shit. I would have yeah, listened to. Sure. Ice Cube, Duck, Fed agents, and you know, fuck holes, and you know, and strike out crackers, and all this shit, and racist motherfuckers, and oh, he wasn't, he wasn't doing it on this album. <laughs> Tell you that, yeah, yeah, cause your your headphones stopped working. <laughs> nigga, that not my headphones, man. my echo dot was was. Nah, you know, nigga, like, nigga. I, 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 I never owned the shit. I owned the shit for like maybe a minute, and I returned it back to BMG because I didn't like it. <laughs> Bro, old, old school on y'all. BMD. It's just a dope album. Like yo, you're you're the one that just you know, like yo, yo y'all comment, y'all just remember Pat, you know, trash. Nah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. You- <laughs> this nigga gave it a five. Yes, yes, nigga. Fuck all that. Yes, but it's an wow. average album. You know, like, like I'm not trying. Like, I'm not trying to recreate what it was. This shit was whack when it came out. Pat, Pat. It's whack now. What, what did you think about raw footage? Ugh. It was it was a drop it was a drop off from fucking laugh not cry later, <laughs> but you know it was. Yeah, you know, a lot of people said raw footage was hard, but okay. I actually liked raw footage. <laughs> the fuck? That's what I'm saying. It's like Pat when it comes to when it comes to it's like I'm 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 seeing Ice Cube as your Danny Garcia nigga. <laughs> nigga, I like Ice Cube. I just I I just don't you like. Just, you can't I, analyze him for shit like. Well, yeah, I mean, to, be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I would say that none of his albums are classic. When to this be fair, I already like six classic albums. Well, six to be of the fair, albums. Even to the be, to be, legs and I, feet. I, okay, I, the, the King Peas. No, know, no, I, I was only gonna say to be fair, he put him like he raised the bar so fucking high with his first four albums that like everything after just seems like. So I gotta like I gotta readjust the, the, the remind myself that listen I'm not judging on the Ice Cube scale like just judge this for what it is not for who the artist is but I can understand why Pat would probably think that yeah. way. He, he does have that Nas, bias. I hold, I, hold, I hold Nas in high regards, but Nas Thomas was trash to me. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like Nas. But it sounds like you hold Ice Cube in the higher regards than Nas. I hold both of them in high regard. Either I way, think you, I, can, I think you give Ice Cube. Way, high whack high. albums are whack albums. No one has ever said the War album was classic. Not one person. You know, like it was very no, good. who even talks about this album? Does even does Ice Cube even play any shit? Off because this honestly, album? look, the reason why people talk about this album because a lot of people did what Pat did. They they heard Don Mega and they was like, hold up, Don Mega, what the fuck is that? Like, nah. Like they went in not really giving the album a chance. But when you give the album a chance, I think most people gave it King P score, which is a seven. Then you got some people who really loved it and it was like, damn, this shit was going hard and they scored it like me and Rome. Well, so, I mean, to be to be fair, to be fair, this like what what you said, Pat, to respond to that, I mean, I'd probably say this is probably the least I don't want to say like the least commercial friendly, but so of course, then nobody's like, but still, it's just, it has this dope shit. Yeah, like like a lot of people like the singles didn't go crazy. That that's what it was like the push and rob. Like it's not really a commercial album. Like you could say it has the contemporary beats and all that shit, but as far as like a commercial sounding album, nah. Like it's a hard fucking album, and it's like storytelling, like. I mean, but, I mean, I, so the, oh, the, hold on, fuck all this shit. The, What's the, the album your ass gonna recommend? Because King P had his moment. Damn, um, uh, I just dropped mine. What was was Pat? Like, who is it gonna be? Houdini? Gonna be Curtis Blow? Who the fuck? <laughs> no, I'll, yeah, I'll think about that one a little bit. But all well, I, I know, know you should have one right in your head. Like, whenever I'm hearing some garbage shit, I already got something to counter it with. Like. Man, well, either way, like, in '98, this this was this was one of the albums that was just not it for me. Definitely in '98. Anyone say otherwise is just saying it's either just lying to themselves. '98 I mean, was a '98 was a dope fucking year. Guys. That's what I keep saying. Like '98, like like to put out a very good album in '98. I don't think that's a problem. Like, and and honestly, I think this was a very good album. It's 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 definitely above average. Like, 
Pat, I don't know what the fuck he's damn sniffing or smoking, drinking. No, no, I, I'm, I'm good. Like I said, like I said, you know, I mean, in real life, no one likes this fucking album. Just a few people that, that are trying to convince themselves. There's more people in real life that like this album than there's in, than there's Andre Ward fans in real life. <laughs> Yo, which come actually, on. Which actually are. Come Never on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, either way, man, I mean, like I said, you can convince yourself this about Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, the production. Oh, he was spent hard, but the shit was really trash and mid. You know, nothing was, nothing about this album was Ice Cube, you know, anything like that. I mean, Ice Cube, I mean, I mean everyone's favorite rapper falls off. You know, no one, I mean, and Ice Cube fell off with this album. Like, it, it was the first sign that he had fallen off. You know, well, well, let us know when you have I mean, our album. I, 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 I mean, to be fair, I, mean, I, I will we'll shoot the uh, review. You give us a chance. I, I will say that because his, like, I, I look at like Ice Cube's. I don't want actually, I don't want to compare. I'll say that to me, like, in terms of falling off, Ice Cube was like Rakim with his shit. Rakim was at the highest of highs, but when he fell off, oh boy, it was hard to listen. Yeah, Rakim fell off. He fell Man, off. Man, Ice Cube got way higher than fucking Rakim. Get out of here. People hold Whoa. him to a way harder standard. Whoa, well, Rakim at his prime was like unfuckwittable. Like, he well, had the commercialism that, like, he didn't have the crossover songs that Ice Cube had. Like, Ice Cube was a way bigger legend icon than Rakim. I mean, Rakim changed the way East Coast niggas actually rhyme, bruh. So, I mean, you, you probably didn't like all the 5% shit in it because it was too positive and he wasn't killing nobody. <laughs> Anyways, man. You Pat, probably, you probably didn't album? like how he was going. What's the album we got to critique? Like, how, how far are we going to go back in time? <laughs> 89. <laughs> Roxanne, Roxanne. <laughs> For real, like, we going gonna, we gonna to listen to the Juice Crew? <laughs> In fact, I should make you niggas listen to Cool G, a Cool G rap album. Yo, Cool G rap is my is in my top three, so I gladly listen to fucking Cool G rap because I've listened to him I don't know a hundred thousand times. Yeah, no Cool G yeah, rap. Who don't, is, who don't is, with Cool G is rap? God MC, he's the real God MC. Yes, and Cool G rap, you know, what's been no type of, you know, no type of commercial shit. You know, nigga, give me some some hard shit, nigga. I'm trying to hear some hard shit like this Ice Cube War shit, nigga. Fuck Thank like you. Coogee shit. Coogee Coogee rap shit is hard. Nah, Coogee, Coogee rap shit is hard. What about Beanie Siegel? What about Beanie Siegel? No, I ain't never heard no Beanie Siegel. I'm not. I'm not gonna suggest no damn Beanie Siegel album. No. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. You got a damn Beanie Siegel now, nigga? No, I'm not gonna suggest that. And whoever I pick is not. It's not gonna be Beanie Siegel. That's for, that's for sure. I right, so pick somebody there, bro. I was gonna say, don't slight Beanie, man. Yeah, yeah, I've heard sprinkles of his songs and they're all fire. So I yeah, don't no, hear. I, I'm, I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna think about. Nah, this. man, you gotta have an answer now so we can go into this. So they know yeah, email. Nigga, the next episode we doing it. Fuck. Yeah, like yo, <laughs> we pressing you right now. Since you had all the smoke, you gave this a you gave a very good album a fucking five. Yeah, let me see your ten, nigga. Yeah, give us one <laughs> shit. Well, what we need to listen to so we can know you crazy. Sugar Hill Gang second EP, nigga. Which one is it? Matter of fact, I should I should do an eight um just off spite. I should do one. Sugar, Sugar Hill Gang. And matter of fact, I will do one. I got one right now. You know, we're gonna oh, do no. Yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. No one wants to hear Father MC. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna listen to, we're gonna listen to EPMD strictly business. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll do yeah. that. EPMD. Okay, I fucks with EPMD. Strictly business. Yeah, that's the album. Rome. EPMD. Strictly business. Get familiar. Man, it's better. It's better not be no break dancing shit, nigga. Yeah, we, we did '90s. We did 2000s. <laughs> do the '80s. We'll do an '80s one. This is '80s. What the fuck? Hey, nigga. I told you. I, mean, I didn't want to. I say I think but about this it. Is, this this is, is your 10 out of 10, though? This ain't no bullshit. This is Nigga, you, 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 You're gonna listen to it. Oh, oh. <laughs> EPMD Strictly Business. That's the next album. Uh, so you, uh, you, uh, you uh, put uh, this uh, album, uh, you put uh, this uh, album uh, against fucking uh, Clips uh, and Ice Cube. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I find myself listening to Unfinished Business more than Strictly Business, so I have to fucking... 
go back and listen to Strictly Business again. <laughs> I mean, my because I don't finish business is nowhere, man. My 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 mine was business never personal. That was my favorite EPMD album, but you know, Strictly Business since we since we're gonna go to the '80s. You know, what'd you say about unfinished? But it gotta business? be a dope album though. Like you just can't throw a random '80 album. Wait, what you know Strictly Business is. <laughs> Man, right, niggas didn't listen you. to that shit till it was strictly 80s. <laughs> well, what did you what did you say about unfinished business? I fucks with that shit. Oh, I have nothing against unfinished business. Yeah, I ain't got nothing against it. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Because mm-hmm. right. I was saying, I listen to newer. Oh, say, I, no, that, no, that's only like two years newer than strictly business. Yeah, them niggas leveled up more. They're <laughs> <laughs> both 80s albums either way, so. You know, y'all made y'all started making this shit actual homework now. Fuck, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? It's like, nah, man, nigga, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, I could have thought about it, but you know, that came to my head, you know. So, man, yeah, this from social studies to history class. I mean, I could, I could suggest. <laughs> see, I, I was like that cool professor that's like, yeah, man, we gonna put you. On, you want a good yeah, album? Yeah, that Ice Cube uh, War. You know, I, 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 I mean. Could have been worse, Rome. He could have made us like, oh, y'all, listen to that first Heavy D album. Like, <laughs> well, Heavy D was good, damn. Though. Hold on, but Heavy D was fire though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, in all the things you could have picked, like, and I like Heavy D, but and I could, I, I could have made you listen to some some other shit that I had in my mind, but EPMD. Yeah, but well, hold on, what other shit? It's not. It gotta be hip hop. Uh, he could he could have had us listen to J. Rue the Damages first album. Yeah, that's, that's a 90s album. That shit is a classic, bro. The no, fuck? that shit is a, that shit is a classic. I, I think, think it's like cool the, enough, but Sunrise yeah, is an easy. You, you, know, you, you don't like the you don't like the five percent shit though. But the, nigga, I love nigga, I love Jerry. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just saying his. I'm just saying the. It's just you going from Ice Cube to Jeruda Damager. Well, that's where we're not. We went from Clips to Ice Cube, for, oh, for crying out loud. Clips yeah, because Clips is more like, all right, we need something way better than this. <laughs> it's like, boom, Ice Cube. No, don't shit on Clips, because that was a good album, too. That was a good album. Yeah, that shit was a six all day for me, but... But Ice Cube blew it out. I'd rather right listen to the Clips than Houdini right now. Yo, I didn't say Houdini. Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> <You. laughs> Yeah, EPMD. I know, I know the next album I'm gonna choose though. It's gonna be way fired than this. I already got it in my head. Like, yeah, like I said, you're the youngin, so you gotta look. You know, we got you know. 90, nah, nah, next, next, next. Uh, nah, Pat's gonna fucking stick to all fucking eighty shit. Next, next thing you know, he's gonna have us listen to. I'm your, I'm your, um, I'm your idol. Your highest title, numero uno. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you probably better from listening to that too. <laughs> All right, so EPMD strictly business. So yeah, and then my next one will be '90s and then 2000s. Yes, you know, you know, I'll go the other way. Don't worry, Rome. I'll be the one that will be giving you the dope, fly, hot, hard albums, man. I, I know, I know the type of shit you listen to, man. You know? Yeah, no, like that EPMD. Like we're, that we're, project we're, shit. That yeah, project. We're, yeah, we're listening to a real classic, not one that no one, no one's calls classic outside of maybe Florida. You know, fucking <laughs> damn that shit. Classic. have his little Joe Law party right now. Yeah, that's that's a real classic. I just suggest that's a true classic. Fuck out of here, fucking war. <laughs> I mean, you know, the people, the fans can hear it. The people hear it. They, it's like the five. Yeah. Like, like I said, you're that Adelaide Bird. You're that one judge that just had it like horrible. You're the one that had it 118, 110, and everybody else had it like 115, 113 the other way. Well, let's just say my pick is the only one that's actually a true hip hop classic. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't call it a classic. I just said that was a hard, you know, it's damn near classic, like a nine. Mm. It's a, it's an underrated like it's definitely an underrated gem. I'll leave it at that. Like it's one of those albums that, I, 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 like I think if people go back and listen to it, they'll be like, mm, "Damn, this shit was kind of fire." Like, yeah. So yeah, room. That's your assignment. But I, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. We can go to the next subject because y'all y'all niggas wilding. Well, Pat, you know, yeah, Pat. yeah, you wilding. I mean, I already know what my when we when we if we're gonna circle around and do these musical choices, I already know what my next one's gonna be. So it's all good. I'm, I'm gonna keep that in the chamber, though. Ooh. Yeah, I hope it's better than that first Clips album. Hint, 
Hint, hint. I'm going to keep it in the chamber. Trust me. Oh, chamber. Mm. Okay. You gave it away now. Baby. No, I, I didn't give it away, but... Okay. When I tell you when I tell you what it is, it's gonna make sense. <laughs> he don't keep it in the tent. Come out, guns <laughs> blazing. This nigga gonna give hunt, give hints every episode. Why? Like who every episode? Dragon Ball Z ass. N- nigga, I guarantee you, Rome probably never heard this album anyway. So I know. Rome, guess the album that you think he's talking about. I don't know, inside the 36 Chambers? Nope. Oh, okay. That's the first thing that came to mind when I heard Chambers, nigga. Nope, you, nope. you, you, you sound like you were relieved. <laughs> no, oh, that's, a, that's a classic album. I know that album. But it's got to do with guns, so... Yeah, that's my only hint. Well, nigga, that's probably every album I've ever written, man. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the album got to do with guns, like oh word, <laughs> like Smith and Wesson, like okay, uh, okay. Let me guess. Shining. Um, <laughs> um, um, let's right see. There. That's a great hint. Yeah, don't tell yeah. me I guessed it. Nah, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a form of death penalty. There you go. Nigga, you should make crosswords. That should have gone viral. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man, yeah, this is uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, young niggas are uh, stupid. Man, I, so, um, I guess, I guess next time, but uh, yeah, strictly business. Um, for APMD's next time, and as for now, we there's no pet. Don't fuck with Ice Cube. Uh, war disc. Um, he alerted yeah. to Ice Cube in 1998. I don't know how he had uh, killed beverages that year, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a, a, a real hot year in 98, so it's, it's all good. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's dark and hell it's hot. Yeah, that was that was the hot year. That's for damn sure. That was the album. That was a, you know, that was an album worth listening to. That's a classic album. The fuck is the Ice Cube War. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a, but even though that album ain't perfect to me, like it got a song I'd take off. So, but yeah, it's still what, a classic dark album. And hell dark hell is dark and, I have no no class no songs I take off of that, but that's my opinion. It's all classic. It killed Puffy's. It killed that Puffy's nonsense. So it's all so it's gonna be classic. And that's quotables for days. Yes. In high school, play it during. Thank you, Fendi. Come and I take that shit off. Nah, nah, absolutely. Not. I hated that damn song. Oh, like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga doesn't understand a good interpolation when he hears it. Hey, he's reaching out the big words on you now. <laughs> I'm, I'm an AZ fan. I know all about interpolations and samples. <laughs> okay, okay, you redeemed yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, I never, I was never a fan of the original. So, hearing somebody else do their version of it, I'm like, ah, skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hip hop, you gotta love it. You know, everyone has, their, everyone has their own. But you can have a classic album and taking one song off, though. Nah, nah, I, I agree. I, I. Yeah. I feel like, but when you, you got to start taking off two and three songs, the only time it's not a classic, you take one song off and that song is like ultra bad. Like Okay, okay, well, like well, okay, here's, well, well, there's levels because when you say taking it off, because I can interpret that two ways. There are, there are certain songs that like, when I say I take them off, it's, I, I really don't hate them, but I don't like them enough that I would want to play them again. Like play a haters on my Yeah, yeah, that's again. what I mean. Well, actually, I mean, actually, I thought that was the song to keep. Another was the one I want. I'd take off that shit. Oof. Yeah. Hunter, what song you would take off, King P? What? Um, I said on, on life, life after, after death. death. I said play a haters. I hate. I. 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 Wow. I. I, you, I rarely really listen to that one. But that, that's one of those songs when you hear it the first two times, you let it go. But after that, you skip. So I, I can see where you're coming from on that. I mean, compared to, I mean, that wasn't a song. To me, it was Another with that Lil' Kim shit. I thought that shit was... Nah, no, I, I liked Another. Yeah, another, another kind of went, though. That shit was yeah. hard. 
Nah, like player haters, you gotta be in a mood to it. Like, I'm not yeah, trying to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not only, and not every day I'm trying to hear Biggie sing and shit like that. And so, like, another is the was dope. Yo, another could have been a Lil Kim's album, not on that album. Oof. Yeah. Nigga, what difference does it make? <laughs> I know, put it on both. <laughs> you'd have liked them. You would have hated it on her album too. We'd have been listening to the Lil Kim album. He'd have been like, man, you know, I ain't really fuck with another. <laughs> oh, nah, nigga, don't even say that. But but yeah, uh, let's let's get to the recap. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start with the PBC joint. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? our our musical recap is is more entertaining than this recap coming up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I-